What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. We are officially in 2022, and you might have guessed it, but this is What's My Pelican 2022. So if you've seen my videos in the past, you've probably seen my What's My Pelican videos. Last year I did a video on my Tool Pelican and my Tech Pelican. Uh, my Tool Pelican hasn't really changed, it hasn't really changed in the last three, four, five years. Uh, what has changed though is my Tech Pelican and one of the biggest changes is it is now in a uh, 1560 Pelican instead of a 1610. The 1610 was a little too small. I was constantly changing what was in it based on the job and so I upgraded to a 1560 because I can carry almost everything that I need for any job in one Pelican. The other thing with the 1510 is it is a carry-on size. I never carry on my Pelicans ever because I just don't want to deal with having to carry something around in the airport one of my backpacks. So because of that, I always check them. So the bigger Pelican, no problem. I always keep it under 50 pounds even though I don't have to. It's easier to keep it under 50 pounds. Um, so let's dive right in and talk about what is in my Pelican. All right, first things first, Surface Pro 3. Uh, yes, Surface Pro 3. A uh, little old, works just fine though, has a mini display port USB and a USB mini headphone jack still, kind of funny. Um, oversized keyboard doesn't actually fit it, but it works. Still use this thing all the time for those apps that are windows based only so uh you know onyx ma2 and Novastar, all those kinds of things run on windows i use it all the time that's not really new but something that is new is this this is the Siconic uh color meter this is the c800u this is uh Siconic's color meter light meter uh, this thing is game changer. If you are looking to step up your lighting game, uh, whether that's theatrical or for movies, things like that, this thing helps so much. It gives you readings on your lights. It helps you match different lights to each other. Um, it helps you dial in white balance, things like that. This thing is game changer. I'm gonna make a whole video about this light meter. So be stay tuned for that. Uh, but this light meter, game changer, I love it definitely going to stay in the Pelican for a while. Um, next up, it's kind of uh, me specific, but this is the Robe uploader box. If you don't use Robe fixtures, uh, you don't need this, but it lets you update firmware and change settings on Robe fixtures, and I use a lot of Robe fixtures, so Robe uploader tool. Something else that's new, this guy right here is my new Disto or laser measuring tape. This thing is fantastic. Uh, still 165 feet, but the screen is so much better and is really fast at its measurement. The last uh, Disto that I had wasn't really fast at taking measurements. This one is. It also has a belt clip, which I love. Uh, I use my Disto all the time. This thing is fantastic. Still rocking the Milwaukee tape measure, best tape measure there is on the market. This guy right here, RF Explorer. This is a RF Explorer that basically just reads um, RF frequencies mainly for audio and Wi-Fi. Very handy to have if you work in the production space because you can read all your Wi-Fi. Um, I believe that's the Pro Audio Edition, yep. And then I also have in here my Vaxxis uh, wireless scanner for video frequencies. It does Teradek, Vaxxis, and some other brands. Um, if you don't have one and you do either audio or video, I highly recommend getting either or both of those scanners because it makes our lives so much easier when it comes to managing RF, having the tools to do the job. Speaking of RF, I keep random 2.4 and 5 gig antennas and some specialty antennas in my little pouch here. This is technically not new. This is my point source headset, which was in my last Pelican, but 
it didn't ever fit in the case. So now it fits in the case. So as you can see, here's my headset and with my 64 ears. These are A12Ts. Um, but what's cool about keeping it in the case is I have every adapter imaginable. Um, I can do stereo, I can do telex, I can do Rydell, I can do whatever I need to, um, including my eighth to eighth for when I use free speaks and I connect uh, wireless in your packs to my free speak pack. It's all in one case, all ready to go. I can do whatever I want with this guy. It's nice having it in one case. Um, also in here, I usually keep a random uh, strain relief and D-link for cable management on trusses, things like that. This one's a little long, but it comes in handy. Cat5 cable, gotta have extra Cat5 cables. Reference microphone. Uh, this is an Audix reference mic. Uh, if you don't know what a reference mic is, it basically takes a flat response. This one's really old and beat up, but it still works. It takes a flat response of whatever you are feeding it. So great for tuning a room, getting a reference uh, response, things like that for measurement, audio wise. It's good to have, this isn't the best one on the market, but it does the job. And lastly in here, this is my audio pouch. So TRS to XLR, uh, a mini router, TRS to eighth inch, whatever audio needs I have cable wise is in this pouch here. Um, moving right along, this is my video bits kit. Um, so inside of here, I have all the bits that you'll need, screws, uh, SDI barrels, red tools, different video things. These are converters from mic stands to video mounts, random quarter 20 screws. I mean, basically any video bit that I need is pretty much in this box ready to go. Uh, random USB-C to USB-A and Cat5 tool for laptops. This is new, this is my first aid tin. It has a little first aid kit in there, it slides open, got some bandages and other things like that in here. You never know when you might need something like this, so it's always good to have in the Pelican. Still rocking the Focusrite uh, Scarlet. This is an old two channel interface. Um, don't use it that much, but when I need it, it always comes in handy to have the interface. Little three channel power strip. In this section here, I keep my tools. So extra C wrench, some mini screwdrivers, another mini screwdriver, Sharpies, things like that stay in my little uh, tool pouch here. It's just a bunch of random little tools that I usually need when I'm doing little jobs like maybe changing the angle of a light fixture or you know tweaking a camera, things like that. Those tools live in there. It's not a full toolkit, but it's what I need to get by. I usually keep a set of Allens in here too, but I also have the red tools in my bits kit. So pretty much have anything I need for any small task. In this section here, I have cables, just about any cable that you could think of. This is even like a high rose to detap cable for powering uh, servo lenses, ethercon, detap to Limo, splitter, HDMI, USBs, cat fives, Another DTAP splitter, pretty much anything that you could think of, I keep in this section. Uh, I try to have all the cables that I need for any circumstance on me. I do a lot of video stuff, so there's a lot of video cables in here, but obviously Cat5 and other things you can use for audio purposes as well. Moving into this section, this is kind of like a random hardware section, you can say. Spare batteries, I haven't even opened those. Uh, gaff tape, E-tape, silver black E-tape. Uh, more gaff tape, mini zips, gotta have mini zips. And that's usually all that I keep in that section. Got my spike tape, my tape, things like that. Surface, power supply. This is a plumb laser level. So what this is for is when you're marking points, when you're like to rig points, things like that, you put this up and it has a laser and it auto levels that laser. So you set it on the ground, where you want your point, shoot straight up and it levels to where you want to go. And this is how you get your points in the correct spot. Um, distos, even though they have a laser, they're not leveling. So if your floor is slanted, it could 
go one way or another. Um, so the point might not be exactly where you want it based on your floor map. That's why having a plumb laser is good for that. Um, I always keep a five port or some sort of network switch. This is really cheap, 30 bucks gigabit switch for networking, NDI, MA consoles, anything, any networking tasks. I have that ready. And lastly, I keep my uh, headlamp. This is a rechargeable uh, USB-C headlamp. Uh, I've had this thing forever. It's really bright, uh, lasts a long time. A little dead right now because I've been using it, but great headlamp. Uh, I usually always keep a flashlight in here too. Uh, it's a Surefire, I've had that flashlight for years. Um, it's not in here at the moment, but I usually always have a flashlight with me as well. Well guys, that about wraps up what's in my Tech Pelican 2022 edition. Um, if you're interested in what's in here, my build out, all the links are gonna be down in the description below, so you can check that out for yourself. And if you wanna see more content like this, I got a lot more videos planned for 2022, so make sure you hit subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.